<laughs> All right, guys. If you guys don't mind opening your Bibles to uh, 1 John chapter 5, please. 1 John chapter 5. I'm going to use some of the verses that Richie talked about a little bit earlier on a completely different topic, though. That's good. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> in 1 John chapter 5, I'm going to start in verse 10. And carry on for a couple cha- couple verses, a couple chapters. You got to wait for that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <clears throat> Bible says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath, the, hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence which we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth. So for a word of prayer, please. Lord God, I thank you for the preaching I read tonight. Kevin and Richie, it's just, uh, just stirred me up inside a little bit, Lord. I like the hard preaching I hear about that, and I just uh, can't wait for, for the next man that steps up behind me, Lord. I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. The title of my sermon tonight, it's, it's going to be short and sweet, but uh, it's called Believing the Record. Yeah. And uh, first John there says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And when we believe on the Son of God, what does that mean? People are like, oh, I believe on God. I mean, is it is it just knowing God? Is it knowing, okay, I heard about this man, Jesus Christ? No. It's believing that he died, was buried, and resurrected to pay for all my sin debt. That's right. Every single right. bit of it. You got all it. at once, he did it. Amen. My yeah. past, present, Amen. and future sins, because the Lord knows I'm going to sin, and sin, and sin, and sin, and sin. Right. But it's all paid for, and I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I don't do anything to keep it. <clears throat> And it says, he hath the, hath the witness in himself. What is this witness? The witness is the Holy Spirit, right. and he dwells in me. When I got saved January 29, 2006, Holy Spirit came into me. I'm saved. I'm sealed. There's nothing that can take away my right. salvation. Amen. That's good. <clears throat> and uh, the next verse there says, and this is the record. Um, let me finish up that last one. He that believes not, not God hath made him a liar. And we're getting into this because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. Those that don't believe the record, and I'm getting ready to get into that next verse, are calling God a liar. Right. They're saying, you know what, God, you promised you would do this next thing that I'm about ready to get into, but, you know, I don't really believe it. I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to go the way of Cain. Come on. What is this record? And it says, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. He promised us eternal life right there. Right. Right. When I believed on him, I had eternal life Amen. forever. That's good. You don't believe in that. You don't believe in eternal life. You're not saved. Right. Right. There's, there's no bones about it. There's no arguing. God said right here, you don't believe in the record, you're not saved. Right. You don't know me, and my son is not in you. Come on. God dwelleth in me. The witness is in me. It's good. Man. All right. Take uh, take your Bible. Turn to John three fifteen and three sixteen. The book of John. And this is just these are a couple verses on eternal security that I, I just love, and it, it's just reassuring to me every day that I don't have to work for it. The Bible said I've got it. It's sealed. I don't worry about this easy believism. One one saved always saved. Yes, I believe that. Amen. 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 I believe it's that. Good. Cheap grace. Expensive. You're darn right. It's expensive. That's right. Man. I mean, Jesus gave his whole life for that. Right. God said, "You know what? I'm going to give my son." Yeah. My wife and I. We don't have children yet, but man, I can't even just. I can't even imagine being like, you know what? My firstborn. There he goes. That's right. Crucified. Hmm. Right there. Hmm. All right. First John three fifteen. Three sixteen says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So what do we get promised there? Eternal life. If we do what? Work. No? Does it say work? 
<laughs> Does it say eat a cracker? Come on. Does it say confess your sins? <laughs> Come on. Does it say go to church? Does it say go to a fundamental independent Baptist church? No. I don't even see any of those words in there besides believe. Right. That's all I did. That's all everybody, everybody else in this room did was believe. Right. Come on. One time, I didn't keep believing. And keep believing, complete, had keep believing. I lost my salvation, had to believe again, had to believe again. Go. <clears throat> Garbage. That's right. Believe right. one time. <clears throat> Amen. All right, let's turn to John 5 24, please. John 5 24. The King James Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and worketh, no, believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. January 29, 2006, I passed from death into eternal life. Amen. It's good. Amen. Immediately. That's right. right there in my car on Beechurst, I said, Lord, I can't do it on my own. I believe the record. I believe what your son did for me. Instantly saved. Amen. Right there. That's it. That's all it was. It's good. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's turn to uh, John 10, 28, and 29. There we go. Keep going to the right. As Justin preached a little... <laughs> While we go, keep going to the right. And this is one of my favorite verses. I like this one a whole, just a whole bunch. There you go, a whole bunch. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Verse 29, my Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. If, this, if my hand is God's hand, he says, you know what, Adam, I've got you wrapped up so tight, there's nothing you can do to ever get out of there. No man can get you out of there. I'm not going to let go of you. I'm saved right there, wrapped up. Nobody's right. going to pluck me out of his hand. I, there's nothing that's going to happen between now and the time I die to keep me from going to heaven. Amen. All right. Let's go to our next verse, 1 John 5.12. <clears throat> he that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. I want to... I want to flip over to verse, uh, let's go back to John 5, 38 and 39. Yes, oh my. John 5, 38 and 39. And Richie touched on this a little bit concerning the Catholic faggots. <laughs> Priests, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent him, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think ye have eternal life, and they are, and they are they which testify of me. They are they which testify of me. And Jesus is mocking them here. He's like, you guys, I mean, you, you think you know the Bible? You're looking for, for eternal life in here, but it's found in me. Amen. It's not found in any words. It's not found in the law. It's found in me. His blood paid for all of our sins one time. Yeah. <clears throat> And it's just reassuring, and, and this is one of the questions that, and I don't go soul winning nearly as much as I should. I commend all you guys. I mean, it's great. I love hearing how you guys are able to get out and, and get people saved all the time. I don't, I don't witness, like I said, nearly as much as I should. I've done it to a few coworkers lately, and it's just been, been uplifting. Haven't seen anybody saved yet, it's good. but it's good. And one of the things that you stress each and every time is 1 John 5.13. Right. It says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. I know that I have eternal life. Would you like to know that you have eternal life? Would you like to know what God did so that you can have eternal life? Let's go ahead and close in prayer. That's good. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for eternal life, Lord. I thank you for the record. I thank you that, that the Holy Ghost, the witness, is in me, Lord. And uh, please, once again, pray for uh, pray for the man that steps up behind this pulpit next and preaches. Yeah. In the name I pray. Amen.